الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not created all of this in bad as falsehood, in falsehood or for falsehood. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created mankind and jinn for what? For the purpose of, of worshipping him subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the purpose of creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Letting us know our divine purpose, the reason we're created, the reason we're put here in this beautiful and spacious earth is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we need to strive our best to have taqwa Allah azza wa jal, to fear Allah, to have sincerity to Allah, worship Him and Him alone, not associate partners to Allah, and to follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that we will have taqwa. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala addresses all mankind Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala when He says after A'udhu Billah Min Shaitan Ar-Rajim Qala Subhana Ya ayyuhu al-Nas A'budu Rabbukum Al-Ladhi Khalakakum Wal-Ladhina Min Qablakum La'allakum Tattakun O mankind Ya ayyuhu al-Nas أعبد ربكم الذي خلقكم. Worship the one who created you and the created those who came before you in order that you would attain taqwa. So by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa taala, this will help us attain taqwa and fear Him, avoiding His prohibitions and doing those things He has commanded. This is the ghaya of the believer to gain that taqwa Allah because it's a type of worship to increase our iman, our faith and may Allah increase us in iman Islam wa ihsan and all those things which pleases him wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam